fins. And I still had a bunch of fins, but these are the fins. I paid $40 for the entire load of fins. These are the fins that I already picked through to do the barn, then picked through them again to do the, the gate. gate. So they're the crap de la crap. <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing is I decided to uh, put them on this piece of ceiling here because this, which I should have taken and showed you a picture before because right now you're like, I don't see any real damage. Okay, so this part of the ceiling, see all this crapping shit that's stuck in there? Maybe you can show them that. Okay, this whole thing had rotted out and when I put the seal, the roof on, the new roof on, oh, I yeah. put on, these things were fine. So I put two befores this way across the top of the old roof and then put my sheet iron on that. And the, she, the, uh, the sheet two iron. befores that go this way are actually, so I thought, why the hell, I'll just cover this up. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking some feed sacks and I'm just cutting the bottoms off them and I'm just sliding them underneath just as an extra vapor barrier, a little bit of insulation, and to help keep any dirt and dust. Why I'm doing this is because the dirt and dust from all that old nastiness wants to fall down. Well, we right. don't want that. So I'm just shoving those in there. So that's what we're doing. That's, we're that's a, making do with a bunch of crap that was left over. Putting in a ceiling, basically. We're yeah. putting in a ceiling. Yeah. And we won't have enough to do the whole ceiling, but if I can cover up the part that's badly damaged for now, and if in the future I have extra thins or something else to stick on this ceiling, I will. Otherwise, I don't give a crap. It's a barn. It's a, it's <laughs> it's a, a shop. fucking shop. Yeah. I just, I don't like that that stuff comes down so on our freezer and everything on else the here. freezer and everything else so i'm trying to just fix it a little bit make it make it a little special <laughs> here awesome. in the shop specialness okay okay. <laughs> okay so one of the main reasons i'm doing this like i said is to get rid of the crap the crap of the thins right. they're in my shop they're right in the way they're not really good for anything structural Okay, I have no other place that I could put them right now where they would do any good other than take them and stack them to use later. And I kind of had it in my head to do that. So I'm going to show you some stuff. So this, you may be asking, what is this for? This is here because, all right, I'm just going to admit it. All right, I read about the Yellowstone Caldera and we're out of the blast zone for the Yellowstone caldera, but we could still get ash. Here's the thing about the ash. You don't want to breathe the ash. It's super dangerous. Mm -hmm. And it's super heavy. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so is snow. Mm -hmm. So this is a long span of roof right here that isn't to my liking supported the way I would like to have it supported. So I put this in here there's a wall down there that holds that up. Right. That I put in. Mm -hmm. Out of piano box where wood. Can you see where it says piano? Oh, yeah, I think. Yeah, so right there. Right there. My friend Eva used to uh, own a antique store downtown Fort Smith, and right next door was a piano shop. And every time they would show throw a piano box in the alley, she goes, go, Selena, they threw away a piano box. <laughs> <laughs> and I would rush down there with my truck and get it. It was all kinds of plywood. Half the shit in our house is built out of it. And, and that wall is built out of it. In fact, the door is made out of the packing corners for the piano oh, box. Okay, yes. So, yeah, and that door is made out of piano box wood, too. The one to the outside. Okay. So, at any rate, this is here. So, in case we have a Yellowstone caldera event and too much ash gets on the roof or... A whole massive nuclear winter snowstorm. I can come in here and put a two before here and prop this up. Oh. Yeah, that's what it's for. I, I'm telling you because my wife just asked, what the fuck is that there for? Because <laughs> I'm guessing she doesn't think it looks attractive. I no, don't know. No, I just didn't know why it was there. I that's mean, why. it looked like it was that's intended why. to be because, structural. Because but... I'm an ultra paranoid. Oh, but, really? okay, but you know what, motherfuckers? Who's laughing at me now? <laughs> right? 
I've always been an ultra fucking paranoid. Guess what? I was right and you were wrong. Wish Everything was... can go to hell in a handbasket that quick. Yes, it can. Well, maybe you weren't wrong, but that motherfucker was. <laughs> but anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep doing this until I run out of boards. Right. And then I'm going to call it done till the next time I have a bunch that I have the creme de la shit of the <laughs> thins, and then I'll put a little bit more on. That sounds good. Okay. Oh. All right. So I finished with what I had. It's not the most beautiful thing I've ever created, but by God, it's keeping the. It's off the floor, and it'll keep the stuff from falling, and it'll keep bugs out of here. And right. it'll, when and if I ever finish the whole thing, it'll look fantastic. No kidding. But right now, it's good enough. And it's tighter than it was. Okay, and... so I'm going to show you some stuff because there's shit that if you're like me, when you get a new tool, unless somebody shows you how to use it. You just kind of guess, and you don't read the fucking manual. Because the manual, when you try to read it, it just confuses you more. So there were a couple of things I didn't know about this, the, the nailer, when I got it, that I wish I did. Now, one of them I did know, but that a lot of people don't know, is every single time you use it, you're supposed to disconnect this and put oil right in there. Oh. That keeps the nails sliding out easily. But the other one, the one I didn't know that ruined my first compressor after only 10 years. Oh no. Yeah. So, but it would still be alive if I didn't do that. Is every single time you freaking use it, when you turn it off for the night and you're not gonna use it, you're supposed to open it up and let all the and the cat just ran away. <laughs> well, that's good for the cat. And what I don't know if you can see, maybe you can if you can see it on my fingers, that's because liquid gets in there. Oh. Water gets in there. As it compresses the air, water gets in there. In fact, sometimes when you turn it off, if you leave it against the ground, it'll make a little icicle. Huh. Okay. When that stays in your compressor, it rotted it, it rots it out. Oh. And then you don't have a compressor. See how it keeps doing that? It's changing? Yeah. That's because there's water in there. Wow. See look. Yeah, there's a spot of water in my okay. bit. So if that stays in there, it rots your compre your uh, compressor tank, your air tank. Huh. I did not know that. I ruined one that way. Well, now you and know. And you can see it's still doing it. Yeah, it's still releasing and still releasing water. And then I usually leave mine open till the next time I use it. That makes so sense. So it just keeps draining. Okay, so if you look around on the floor, you can see there's bark everywhere. Yeah. So what I'm getting ready to do is I will rough sweep that bark into a pile, mm -hmm. take it out, and put it in the goat barn. Oh yes, down there on the floor. Mm -hmm. You can see here, this is where I had that lumber stacked. I could, I've been hobbling around it for months. <laughs> so now I, it's out of there. Great big room! <laughs> we have a great big room in there now. We have suddenly a great big room! That's where the um, table saw often is. Okay, was. but I wanted to show you this. So... We had all of those thins that we used for everything, and that's the only part of it that I couldn't find to use for anything else. But what's it gonna be? It's gonna be firewood. firewood. Yes. So there's that. Yay. Nothing was wasted. Nothing was wasted. I started with a product that literally nobody else wants. Right. A product that they sell super cheap if they can sell it at all. Right. Okay. Yeah, they burn it when they can't sell it. They yeah. burn it when well, they put it in the slabs. Yeah. And then if they can't sell the slabs, they burn those. So I started with that and I did 40, a $40 load, whole front of the barn, the gate, and that piece of ceiling. That's right. So there you go. Yay. And some firewood. And some firewood. Awesome. Say goodbye. <laughs>